Hey, uh, thank you so much for uh, be coming back with us in 2018. Journalist with The Guardian and observer Carol Cadwallader broke the Cambridge Analytica Facebook story where a whistleblower described how the firm linked to former Trump advisor Steve Bannon compiled the user data to target American voters during the 2016 election. She has been working, it seems, nonstop to expose Facebook for its role in breaking democracy. As a hundred years ago, the biggest danger in the South Wales coal mines was gas, silent and deadly and invisible. That's why they sent the canaries down first to check the air. And in this massive global online experiment that we are all living through, we in Britain are the canary. We are what happens to a Western democracy when a hundred years of electoral laws are disrupted by technology. Our democracy is broken. Our laws don't work anymore. And it's not me saying this. It's our parliament published a report saying this. This technology that you have invented has been amazing. But now it's a crime scene. And you have the evidence. And it is not enough to say that you will do better in the future. Because to have any hope of stopping this from happening again. We have to know the truth. And maybe you think, well, it was just a few ads, and people are smarter than that, right? To which I would say, good luck with that. Because what the Brexit vote demonstrates is that liberal democracy is broken, and you broke it. This is not democracy. Spreading lies in darkness, paid for with illegal cash from God knows where. It's subversion, and you are accessories to it. Carol continues her investigations into the social media giant in a recent piece titled Facebook is Out of Control. If it were a country, it would be North Korea. Uh, in that piece, she argues there is no power on this earth that is capable of holding Facebook to account. And she's now organized a group of experts to analyze and critique Facebook's content moderation decisions, policies and other platform issues in the run up to the presidential election called the real Facebook Oversight Board. And Carol joins us now. Carol, thank you so much for being with us. Your TED Talk was extraordinary. We followed uh, everything that you've been doing closely. And I, I've got to say, first of all, I, it's, I, I was explaining a couple days ago that, that I've got friends in my hometown that I love dearly and they love me dearly. Uh, and at least, I mean, they say they do. And if I ask them for a, a, a kidney, for a transplant, they say, sure. Like, they, they would give anything to me. And yet... When I talk to them about the 2020 election, they're on another planet, not, not on whether they're voting Donald Trump or Joe Biden, but just on the basic facts. And I really didn't understand that until I saw your TED Talk. You had the same experience when you went back to your hometown and everybody was talking about how horrible the EU was. Well, I mean, I think you kind of absolutely put your nail on the head, though, which is that we are now living in different realities, in different universes, and that we can see very directly how Facebook has put us into these bubbles. And we know that, we know that there is continuous stream of lies and misinformation that is being distributed now at this critical time in American democracy, while people have already started voting. And I think it's incredibly alarming that people don't have access to basic facts anymore. And, um, you know, I, I think we can all see the ways that the problematic things that that is going to mean in terms of the upcoming election. Yeah, and you... you, you, you... It was funny, in, in your TED Talk, you went back and you would interview people on the street and they'd say, the EU's done nothing for me. And right behind them was this massive EU complex. I, I think it was, I, I think it was a community center. And, and, and then the, the, the transportation and all these other things. 
but they couldn't see the world around them because they were seeing disinformation, things that they that the people putting it out knew they were lies because they were looking at their screens and that had become the reality and not these mammoth buildings and programs and econ economic development programs uh, that had been uh, sent to re reinvigorate your old hometown. Uh, that's right. And I think the difference is, in, you know, in 2016, we really weren't aware of what was going on on the platforms. And, you know, we'd come from this world where elections were fought in public, where it was articles in the newspaper, it was politicians talking on television. We all had access to the same information. And we didn't realise, actually, that people were seeing completely different realities on Facebook. And the most alarming thing as I started looking into it was the fact that all this content had just completely disappeared. There was no archive at all. And what people were seeing was being directed at them personally, and then it was vanishing. And so what's happened since then is that we've got, you know, we now know so much more about what happened in 2016. We know that America was actually attacked by a foreign power, which used Facebook to directly subvert the election. We now have these facts, but here we are four years on and we're facing exactly the same problems again. And we know that Facebook has this classic methodology, break things and then apologize afterwards. And what I think the experts who are coming on board with the real Facebook oversight board are so concerned about is that it's America's democracy, which is going to be broken by Facebook next. And that's Thank why. You. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube. And make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. And you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.